Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about ADA. Yeah, let's um, let's take a look here at the ADA chart on the four hour time frame first. Um, for everybody who's new on the channel, the idea is that ADA formed a five wave pattern to the upside into the March highs. And then from here, we've started this correction. The idea is that somewhere in this box, the price should turn around before breaking below 29 cents. There are two microstructures that I'm basically tracking here um, in this current correction that are basically valid as long as we're holding the 29 cent level. So let's talk about that. Below 29 cents, there is no invalidation of the bullish scenario, which could lead to a rally in this bull market to like $4, maybe even higher. Um, but you know, we, we are not there yet. <laughs> okay, so that's not all get too excited. The idea is that in this wave two, we shouldn't break below 29 cents. Doesn't mean we can't, but we shouldn't. Well, if it happens, it's most likely not a wave two. And it's most likely something more bearish, which would be further confirmed with a break below the invalidation point at around 22 cents. So there's a difference between support and invalidation. So please be aware that below 22 cents, really, it is black and white. And I cannot really call that anymore a wave two. Yeah. Below 29 cents, I might still observe it as a alternative scenario. But yeah, below 22, I have to take it off the chart, this bullish potential, unfortunately. But I just want to explain to you the structures. Not that I expect it to go down that much. It always happens. We always have to, well, actually expect everything in, in altcoins, you know, in the altcoin sector. But it's not what I'm primarily watching for. Maybe that's a better wording. Um, if we go to the one hour chart, we can see that the market has really not done much in the last few months. Um, well, let's say, okay, last month or so, one and a half months. And we're still stuck in this support range here. Um, there seems to be, I mean, it's trying to bottom out here, but there's no strong upside momentum that has been generated from this support region. 42 cents is the next support level. And then we've got 36 and 29 cents. Um, we're stuck in the range between the red and the green lines, as you can see. Or you could even say that we're stuck in a range between the 50% FIB level and the 38.2 FIB level there. But I find the um, breakout point here more relevant. So 52.2 cents. There are two levels to watch really in this range. The first one is the breakout point to the upside. That is at 52.2 cents. And this orange directly bullish wave count in which this overall correction finished already in April can only be called a diagonal pattern, wave one to the upside, wave two pullback, wave three to the upside, wave four pullback, wave five to the upside. And in this scenario, the wave one here was a three wave move. Therefore, the third wave needs to be a three wave move. It's possible that we completed the A wave element of that. B wave possibly as well, but I have no indication that the C wave has started to the upside. Um, the wave five should also be an ABC structure and five waves should reach 64 and a half cents. Ideally, three waves should reach 60 and a half cents. Ideally, OK, if we don't even get to 60 cents, 60 and a half in the third wave, it's likely something more bearish. And it takes a break above 52.2 cents for an initial breakout indication, right? And to make the orange count more likely. Until then, the white scenario is also something to observe for one more low. Um, if that happens, targeting 36 to 38 cents is likely. And one more low should take the price down that much. Yes, absolutely. Um, but it takes initially a break below 43.6 cents. That's just sort of a, a micro support region I'm watching. So ideally, if there is a an upside reaction, it would form from here. It doesn't have to. It's unreliable because we're dealing with corrections. But still, just want to show you some FIPS. And yeah, below 49, um, no, 41.9 cents, the red line and this uh, 1st of May low, we're likely going to target down there 36 to 38 cents before then a rally starts. So at the moment, my expectation is either move up from here in five waves or after one more low. I can't clearly favor one of them. It looks objectively more likely uh, to get one more low. Yeah, it does look because there's absolutely no upside reaction. But I'm very careful saying that because we've seen it so many times. I can only tell you that like objectively looking at it, one more low is very likely. OK, and that could be that this is an Elliott wave triangle. OK, and it might just need another E wave high. And this E wave um, would basically be a corrective rally and it should stay below that 52.2 cent level. Actually, it should stay below the 21st of one, uh, 21st of May high 
here 51 cents. Yeah? Then we have an E-wave corrective rally before it really breaks down. This is possible, uh, yeah, but um, again, it, it's, it needs to follow through. You know, it always needs to confirm it and it would confirm that with a break below 41.9 cents. So there is no, in summary, there is no reliable bottoming confirmation. I wanted to give you a quick reminder of all the relevant levels here, but the upside potential is still very much there. Generally in the altcoin sector, it is just that ADA hasn't really shown us any indication it wants to bottom out. It's trying to, but one more low seems to be likely. I just know that many of these altcoins have rallied in the past from very, very ugly structures. That's my update about ADA. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.